Hi everybody, Casey Zander here. Now in today's video, we're gonna be discussing three secret turn-ons that women will never tell men. Now keep in mind, what I'm about to show you on this whiteboard is probably going to go against the grain, okay? This might be things that are very eye-opening to a lot of you, and this might even be come across as shocking content. However, what I can tell you after dating numerous women over the past, you know, five, 10 years, these are three things that I've discovered, not by reading books, not by watching a bunch of YouTube videos, but by actually going on dates with real women, having women in my life, interacting with them, and figuring these things out, okay? If you know these three things I'm going to show you, this is literally a cheat code to understanding things at a deeper level compared to 99% of men because 99% of men have no idea what they're doing with women, okay? And that's why they're constantly dumped left for another guy, ghosted or cheated on. If you don't want that to be you, stay with me because by the time we get to point number three, this is the most impactful. But point number three will not make sense until we outline points one and point two because these go in perfect sequential order. So the very first, okay, number one, biggest turn on that women have is calling out their bad behavior if they display it towards you. Here's how I discovered this. There's a girl that I saw last Thursday. Okay, I've seen her for probably like seven or eight months now. Word for word, I have this in quotes. She said, you're the only guy who has ever been called out my BS when I wasn't acting right. And I think that it's super attractive. So here's what I can tell you. When they display bad behavior, when they are not acting genuine towards you, when they're being rude, when they're being just not good to be around, you cannot just let that pass to hopefully keep them appeased so that way you can hope that you guys can continue to sleep together or have intimacy. That's going to register as low value. Nine out of 10 women will push the limits to see what they can get away with. And 99% of guys simply don't have a backbone. Now, does any of this mean you have to be rude, you have to get mad, you have to get angry, you have to yell at a woman? No, none of that. All you have to do is these three things. When women show you bad behavior, okay, the first thing is you have to actually lead them to why it's bad. So you explain, hey, you shouldn't do that or I don't like that. Or if you're going to continue to do that, we're not going to see each other. So you, the point, second point is you remove attention. And last but not least, you have to remain indifferent. Her bad behavior at any point can never make you emotionally moved off center. It can never make you angry. It can never make you charged. If she sees any of those things, she's going to close off especially on an intimate level, and not desire you. Here's what I can tell you. Here's a list of the things most women have never experienced. And this is coming from the girl that said this to me verbatim. She said verbatim, most of it, like she has never been rejected. She has never been dumped, okay? And she has never been able to not have a guy that she wanted, okay? Attractive woman. She has never, ever been in a situation where she did not get what she wanted. So keep that in mind, because I have not committed to her, right, because of certain behaviors, certain traits that I've seen in the past, that has completely went into her psychology to make her realize like, hey, you know, maybe it is actually attractive when a guy has a standard or when a guy has a backbone. Maybe I actually do like these things. This is the first, okay, extremely important. What we're going to do now is shift to the middle point. Okay, point number two, before we get to the middle point, okay, what I have to tell you is this. Down below this video, I just created a brand new webinar live for 2023. I just recorded this about a day and a half ago. This is brand new for 2023. After this video is done, go down below and check out the MBT webinar. It's brand new. Okay, you're going to be one of the first viewers to see it. You're going to get tons of value. Click that link below this video once you're done watching it. Okay, point number two. Okay, the second biggest turn on. Setting a standard and expectation regardless of S3X appeal. Okay, you are not going to find another dating coach on YouTube or another person talking about these topics. Explain it the way I'm about to. Read that one more time. Setting a standard, okay, setting standards and expectations with the cohesion of the relationship with your interactions for her, setting that standard of how the dynamic of the relationship is going to be ran regardless of S3X appeal. Okay, that means it doesn't matter if it's an unattractive woman, that doesn't matter if it's a Victoria's Secret model. I don't care. Here's the fact. Look at 99% of men. Just look at them for a second. They have no morals meaning they don't believe in anything, they don't believe anything's good or bad, they're just drifting through life. 
They have no morals. They have no boundaries. They have no expectation. Not only expectation of their own life, of what they expect out of themselves, but especially they are far too scared to ever set an expectation for the type of woman that they want into their life. And God forbid they say that they have one. Just think about this for a second. 99% of men have none of these things. Yet they believe, and they believe in nothing, just hoping to get by. So because of that, if you are in this category, what this does is this strips you of all of the things that actually make you a masculine and attractive man, okay? Things like a moral or a boundary or a code that you live by or a standard, okay? One of the things that I've constantly done my whole life is I have constantly always journaled. Okay, I've journaled about specific beliefs I have in the world, things I will bend on, things I won't bend on, things I like, things that I will never bend or break on, things of like actually understanding yourself. Because unless you have a code, unless you have something to follow, unless you have strict morals and gu guidelines and boundaries and ways you live your life, it's going to be very, very hard for a woman to feel attracted to you because you're not providing <clears throat> the masculine structure that women find attractive. So this, if you don't have these, this strips you of those things, okay? So if you don't have these things, okay, don't be surprised when women don't desire you, okay, or when women don't necessarily desire the type of man that doesn't have any of these things in place, okay? Women like to see that a man has a standard and he's not one over too easy, okay? If anybody can have you, if anybody can access you, if anybody can freely get your time, your time is now useless. So you have to really understand these at a deep, deep level. So what are the three standards you should have? Well, you should have a standard for your life. Okay, if you don't have this, you should write this down in a notebook like, hey, what is the standard for my life? What is the standard for my relationships and the women who are with me? And last but not least, what is the expectation that I have for myself and for my companion that I'm with? Okay, unless you can set the standards for all those, it's very hard to know what type of behavior is approved and what type of behavior isn't approved. And if the, if the woman that is in your life does not see that you have clear cut boundaries and behaviors for what is approved, what, what is acceptable versus what isn't, expect them to push the boundary until you are completely broken. Okay, a man, as a man, you have to have structure. I don't care if anybody tells you you're weird for this. I don't care if anybody tells you that, hey, most men don't act that way. I don't care if anybody tells you, oh, go out to the clubs and go with the flow and do whatever the hell you want to do just because. I don't care. If you go down that road, you're gonna be in for pain. And I don't want to see you in pain. I want to see you win, which is why you have to go against the grain. Last but not least, you're gonna love this one because I created literally the best headline for it possible. Once you are completely comfortable with calling out bad behavior. Once you have set a standard and an expectation for yourself and for the relationship, regardless of S3 X appeal, last but not least, you have to realize on a deep level and understand why it is a turn on. If you have exclusivity power in your pipe, <laughs> read that again, exclusivity power in your pipe. Okay. The dynamics we are reversing in 2023, you need to make your pipe a gift that you are giving, which means she has to earn the right to receive that gift. Think about this at a deep level, make your pipe a gift that she has to earn to even received. Okay. Now you are the prize instead of the prize being what is between the legs of that woman. Think about this on a deep level, make your pipe the prize. S three X can't hold any weight over you. So here's the problem today. Most men are completely weak for it. Then they think what's between her legs is the prize. Then they think they win by giving it to her. Think about that. 99% of men think that they win by giving the woman. Okay. The pipe. This is not true. I put a big no right here. She wins by getting it from you. She wins by giving the gift of your pipe. See, men have this backwards, men have this reverse. If you actually start to look at what S3X is, you will start to understand the value that you hold as a man, but only if you understand the rever reversal of the way that I'm looking at it. I don't mean to sound like a crazy <laughs> individual with a whiteboard literally making up jokes like power in your pipe, blah, blah, blah. You gotta understand this though. If she doesn't have to earn it, if she doesn't have to earn your time, earn your trust, earn your companionship, okay, earn the pipe even. How do you expect for her to respect you? Because if, if you have a woman, she will never actually love a man unless she respects him. By you holding yourself to this sort of standard, 
you're going to realize that women would rather have the guy at the top who, who makes them maybe jump through those hoops or those ladders than just anybody who's willing to give it. And if you're willing to give the shaft at any point to any girl, your shaft now loses its power and you actually will slowly start to emasculate yourself from who you could be. So what I advise you to do is I advise you to take these principles even further. I just rewrote the MBT masculine behavioral technique webinar. Go down below and register because you are going to be learning the three hidden secrets of masculine frame, masculine energy, and my number one unlimited hack that I have used for the past 10 years to have options at all times. This works for guys, regardless of where you're at in life, regardless of your status, regardless of your income, any of that, because I know tons of guys who have high status. I know personally tons of guys who have high incomes because they don't understand the fundamental roots of masculinity, which I'm going to show you at an even deeper level in that webinar below. They do not have the keys that it takes to actually maintain love and attraction in their life with a woman who is actually interested in them on an intimate level. Don't let that be you. Okay, go down below, take action, actually register for it. I put that together for you. It is going to be an amazing presentation. You're going to love what I created. I spent literally all last week on it, which is why I have not posted a video in seven days. Go watch it, hit this like video, or excuse me, hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.